guys, thanks for tuning in to another video for the San Dimas Wine Shop and Tasting Room. We really appreciate you guys coming back. Uh, sorry we had a few weeks without doing it. I'm sure you guys all saw our construction issue, and so it's been a little bit of a hiccup. But we're back, we're ready to go, and we have a great lineup for you guys this week. We're up and running. I mean, the street's all open and uh, business as usual. So. And yeah, I believe they have the ribbon cutting on the 18th? Something like that. Yeah, this March 18th is going to be the actual San Dimas ribbon cutting. It's finally over. I know. Great. <laughs> and it looks pretty. But it was painful. It was painful. It was it was a bit of a pain, but not quite. So let's talk about these wines. Yes, I think this is a great lineup this week. I think Melissa did a great job at picking them. Yeah, here we start out with the Boontown. Uh, this is the 2015 Pinot Gris, which comes out of uh, Washington State, all 100% stainless steel. What's interesting is that even though it's light in color, it's kind of heavier in body. It is. And yeah. specifically, it's got that that kind of like ripeness to yeah, it that you would expect out of a thing out of baked uh, fruit, something that's mm -hmm. been sitting out in the sun for a while. But it's absolutely delicious. It's got good acidity, really good acidity, which makes it a great wine food. Yeah, I like that one. And then definitely, I think this Fermentino, I know you food. were absolutely in love with it. food one, yes. Yeah, definitely food Yeah, no, the Fermentino, um, this is the this is the Padre Stilibus. Um, what do I say? This is my favorite wine. If, if I was to think of, of white wines that I've tasted throughout my whole life, and mm -hmm. I would say this style in this particular grape just does something for me. Um, but Vermentino is the grape. Uh, it comes from, from Galura, which is in Sardinia, in the northeast corner of Sardinia. Um, it's fruity, you know, it had that candy smell. Did you? It did, yes. Yeah. It definitely had the candy smell that had that minerality, but it was still very... Bone dry, mm -hmm. bone, bone dry, and very mineral, which mm -hmm. I think is, a, is a, a, a good style for a good quality of our wine. I agree with that. Then we go, we, we come back here to California for the Albatross Ridge. This is their 2013 Cuvée. This is the Vivian. <clears throat> this is an estate Pinot Noir, 100% Pinot. Uh, John and Jason, for any of you that are keeping, <laughs> keeping tabs on the clones, it's 777, 115, wow. and 828. You're not supposed to tell them that they're supposed to be guessing. Okay, so. Um, Don't mind that. Sorry about People that. People just always have to interrupt me yeah. in the most precious time. But it is 100% French oak, 30% mm -hmm. new, 11 months, and it's an unfined, unfiltered wine, which is pretty classic of, uh, I think, of good good quality Pinot Noir. I know that. Yeah. Earthy, raspberry, and it's got that little funk to it. Yeah, it's I very like. light, and you can tell the 777 is there. Yeah, It definitely sure. has that typical Pinot smell. Yeah. Then we switch over, we go back over to Napa Valley. We are, um, this is the Henry. Mm -hmm. There's Zinfandel, Napa Valley, 15 months on oak. This is their Zinfandel 2012 effort. Uh, 15 months on oak, 65% is new. It's all 100% French oak. And it comes from a, a block, it's called Block 28, which is a four acre parcel that sits on the estate. Absolutely delicious fruit. I love how spicy it is and I love how true to Zinfandel this one is. God, the Andy Zinfandel lovers are going to absolutely gravitate towards this one this weekend. For sure. Uh, the next one comes from a good friend of ours, Jamie Edlin. Oh, um, I love Jamie and, and her dog. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is the Cordon. This is uh, their 2014 Syrah. Uh, this comes out of the White Hawk Vineyard, which is in Santa Barbara County. 40% uh, new French oak for 18 months. It does spend 60% 60, 60 also on a neutral oak, but it's fruity and it's super, super elegant, which I think is, uh, to say that it's so refined for a California Syrah, um, it's not typical because usually they're big, bold, and jammy. Yeah, kind I was expecting face. something a little bit more concentrated, but I like it's like, it's it's, it's refined, it's, it's elegant. elegant. That yeah, was what I was thinking. It's really like refined it's, and yes. elegant. It's a beautiful, beautiful Syrah. Probably one of my favorites. I've been really coming out of California that. for a long time. And they've been pretty consistent year over year. Mm -hmm. Then we finish up with the eponymous. Uh, this is their 2011 red wine uh, blend. Uh, this comes from the McAllister Vineyard out of Sonoma. It is it is predominantly Syrah, but it does have some Cabernet Sauvignon, nine months on oak. Of which 30% is new and it's a 50 50 blend mm -hmm. of uh, French American. Oh, very nice. See, I really do like the pines. That's what I have in my glass right now. And it definitely has that bright spice and great tannins on it. Yeah. You can tell it has that American on it. It's just that vanilla is so bright. But then the French is really rounding it out for me. So I really and, enjoy that. And it's a Bob Pepe wine. I mean, who doesn't love Bob Pepe and what he's been doing here in California? He really is truly. And with that name, you've got to have some yeah. wine. I mean. so. <laughs> Well, actually, guys, Super nice lineup. I, I would say that this lineup, especially on the price point, is a little bit higher. So for mm -hmm. those of you that want to try 
a um, little bit higher quality wines than we normally have on our tastings. I think Melissa did an outstanding job I think she did. of picking these wines and really giving these varietals a good chance. I definitely agree with that. I love the varietals. I think that it's a good, perfect lineup, guys. So definitely come in. And a few little bit of reminders. So this week, I mean, I don't know if you guys scared away, you know, the leprechaun this week. So St. Patrick's Day is coming up, but we are actually not going to be having our actual quarterly beer tasting that we normally do. We are going to be postponing it due to all the other lovely events that we like for you guys. Coming up in March is a lot. You got a ribbon cutting ceremony. You got Heidi's dinner, which is yeah, coming up. Heidi's dinner is this Thursday, guys. So RSVP because it is RSVP only, and we all know Heidi is going to blow it out of the water. I mean, no, this is coming Thursday. It is this coming Thursday, and you okay. have to RSVP. This is not a walk-in event, and so it's actually a pop-up destination wine dinner. Okay, so what it is is like you're going to meet here. You're going to have your first intro wine. And you guys are going to kind of talk, mingle a little bit, and then Heidi is going to actually personally walk you over to the venue, and you have no idea where it's going to be. I tell you guys right now, you're not going to guess it. As much as you guys like to think you can, you're not going to guess it. It's going to be a great time. So definitely come down for that one. And then we have, yes, we have the ribbon cutting on the 18th, and we have, oh my gosh, I'm like losing track of all the events because they're so much fun. Um, but no, I think it's going to be a great week, guys. April 5th is going to be the next winemaker yeah, monthly. Yeah, let's not forget about our winemakers yes. series. And we got, uh, we got uh, uh, Keenan. Keenan will Keenan be coming, coming in. in. Yes, that's going to be a which great Which is, show. oh my god, you guys. He, or for those of you that have been coming around to the shop for a long time, uh, he did a winemaker dinner uh, at Noir, I'm going to say probably at least five years ago. This was when Heidi uh, still owned the shop. We did it at Noir in Pasadena. Mm -hmm. And he is just, he, he is a party in a bottle. I've heard that. I've yeah. heard that he's a great time. I haven't personally met him, so I'm very much looking forward to April 5th. And I think you guys definitely should be too. But definitely keep keep tuned for our next video next week, guys. And thank you so much. And keep it classy. Keep it classy.